Okay, so this is my presentation for the 30 second internet short for Stone Pillow. Um, Stone Pillow is a local charity in Chichester dealing with uh, the vulnerable homeless. Uh, they're only a small charity, so unfortunately they can't really afford to do the big production sort of promotional videos and bits and pieces. Uh, so it's nice that we get the opportunity to do this. Uh, now we, we spoke to Stone Pillow, got the brief, uh, basically wanting a, a, a fictional uh, advert, uh, but with sort of a real theme, uh, not a documentary though, um, and they wanted this sort of glimmer of hope at the end. They didn't want sort of, oh well, look, they won the lottery or something at the end, you know, they, they just wanted to show that there is hope. Um, looking at other sorts of adverts on the internet, um, you either get a homeless person on the street and then a homeless person eating a bowl of soup at some refuge, or you get the groundbreaking things like the crisis video where they've, they've really sort of taken away from it and you really have to think about what's going on. Um, I don't, I'm not big on using the stereotypes because I, just, I don't think it's, it's right to class everybody into one group, but at the same time I didn't want to go so abstract that you didn't really know what was going on. Um, so I have used, I want to use stereotypes a little bit to give that sort of familiarity with the audience so they understand what's going on. Um, for my particular piece, I wanted to sort of be in the homeless person's shoes. So sort of be on the inside looking out. So how does it feel to be a homeless person? You know, what do they actually do? Now again, I've, I've had to use a few stereotypes so that people can understand what and what's going on in the video. But I thought being a homeless person, the world probably seems quite a dark place and quite a nasty place and cold. Um, so I've actually gone with um, a black and white imagery, but with these hints of colours to accent the, the good things that are happening around uh, and this sort of glimmer of hope in the end. Uh, so the actual story for the internet short itself is a, um, it's basically a homeless guy walking down a dark alley. You never see their face, uh, so it's just from behind or from point of view or just their feet, just walking down a dark alley, just on their own, nobody else around. Uh, and then they sort of, they actually walk past a stone pillow leaflet on the floor, but they don't see it there. And they carry on and they sort of find a doorway and bed down for the night. And it's at that point when you actually see that the character actually it doesn't have a face, doesn't have a head at all. Um, and it's, it's that hook that I'm going with. Um, when I was researching this, uh, a lot of what came up was facts and figures, which, um, which is lovely, but it doesn't have a face. So the title of the piece is going to be Faceless Statistic. Because everybody sees numbers all the time, but you can't really attribute that to a person. You might see them, a random person in the park that you think is a drunk or a homeless person, but it's not always the case. So it's all about making people realise that there's more homeless people out there than they probably realise. itself uh, will be really easy to film because it's only sort of one location uh, and one actor it can all be done in, in an afternoon you could be filmed edited and on the internet and around the world in, in an afternoon incredibly cheap as well it's just one camera one actor and they don't even see his face um, Target audience, how do you think it would differ between film and the internet? Um, I'm trying with the the internet short. I'm trying to give that little bit of a of what happens next. So I'm trying to hook people in with a, a really short, like right up until the end point. You, and then you find out that this person doesn't have a face. So it's like, well, what's this all about then? Why hasn't this person got a face? Sort of thing, you know. Trying to make it a little bit viral, maybe. You know, why is this? headless, faceless person uh, in this video. 
and then linking in with the main video itself, um, you'll see throughout the main video this faceless person, but you'll see this one glimmer of hope um, in the form of uh, a female character that will actually notice the person and be the only person that notices this homeless person and gradually tries to help and help and help throughout the whole thing until right up to the very end point where she actually hands the stone pillar leaflet to the guy. And just any uh, legal ethical issues with your film or any, any, any of your campaign at all? No, not really. I mean, I've got to be very careful because some of the locations for the main film, um, we have to be, I've got to be very careful not to get any branding or anybody else, any passers by his faces too much in it. Um, but for the, the, for the short, there, there would be nothing really, uh, nothing at all. And in terms of uh, um, uh, marketing, you say it doesn't fit in anything with Stone Pillow it's got at the moment. Yeah. So do you think that how far could it go other than just a film? Do you think it could go into, into print media or, or as well as the internet? Yeah, I mean, uh, um, certainly the imagery of the facial statistic, uh, if I go back to one, two, I think that would work quite nicely as a poster as well. Um, say having. Uh, a faceless person, then move some sort of stone below, not just another faceless statistic, um, sort of thing on there. Certainly with the, the, the black and white imagery with the, the colour uh, accenting that I'm going to do, uh, I think it would really stand out. And of course, it's quite nice because I've actually used their actual publication material that they use within the video as well. Any other questions? Thanks so much, Paul. Cool.